So welcome back everybody. I'm up here actually and I'm kind of glad that I'm not working right at the minute because I'm able to come outside and get some things done that I've been trying to, you know, do lately. So what I did was I took the fence down that was around for, that we're trying for the chickens and stuff and that was originally the goat electric fence. So what I did is I ran the broken stuff first. So actually I'm going to take you around and see. And then I'm going to go inside actually and grab the brand new roll and finish putting this together. A roll in it and everything. I have it up for sale, but I think I'm actually going to keep it if my girls will be respectful and stay in it. But I don't know if they will. But either way, this will give me an idea of how big I want the pin to be. Now this fencing is 168 feet long. Which is quite... It, it's quite enough. Now this... Our fencing actually isn't going to come over to here. Because when we add onto the barn, my window and door is going to be on this side. So it's actually got to come over to here. But I thought maybe in the middle. But either way... Um, for right now I have it right here starting and then we're gonna walk this way with it I was just trying to like think you know how we could get everybody moved into their pins and still be able to not spend so much on hay so this is going to be kind of the corner post from here to there and see and if I did have this corner post put it'd be about right where that tree is is about right where I want my a gate to come in there with but for right now this is what I'm gonna deal with I got too hot so I took my pullover off it's a beautiful day today so I took the fence and ran it down here and you'll see where it ends down here. Now, I originally wanted the fence for the girls to come to this tree and then go back this way. So then they would have all this area. Because remember, I want to start my French herd and start building it. So... At the max that I want for milking is 15 to 20 milkers at one time. So my thing is, is if I took that 168 feet and added it to here and took it to here, this pile right here is in my way, obviously. And then I would take it down and then that pile is in my way. But this is the pile my husband wants to get burnt. And then I take it down to about two feet away from the front of that barn to about right where their hut is now take it up and then around so then they could get in and out but they would have all this again all this to roam in which is probably I would say about a half an acre and I think that would be great now the boys will be up in this corner to about right here They'll have all that up in that corner. And then the donkeys will have this all the way over to the driveway. And then it will come up to the front to about right where that corral's at. And that's where it will stop. Now, you ask, where are the babies and Dessa going? Good question. They are actually going to go down in this hole. But my husband's going to bury it. And then that's the area that Dessa and the babies will be in. So they're still closest to the barn to me. And they're separate from everybody else. So that is what we're looking for and in <laughs> to be able to get things done. So with that being said, I got to get to it and see if I can't get that other fence started. I think what I'm going to do is probably go from there and then kitty corner it this way and come this way just so I can see, you know, how I can get it in here. But yep, we've got a lot of work to do, a lot of work. I wasn't oh I was gonna say I wanted to show you guys too that I actually had moved my uh, cranberry bushes into these little pots so that they could do pretty well and I put the other one over there and that's where I'm gonna keep them at for now um, and I also planted my um, I gotta make sure where I walk oh. 
that noise we're hearing is the female hawk that's up there. My my husband says he's not even sure it's a hawk. Whatever it is, it's big. But anyways, what I was saying, I gotta watch where I walk. The dang ducks have been in here and smashed some of my my um lilies. But I put my hollyhocks right here. I figured they get really tall so they could be back here with these and they'd do okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I've got some bleeding hearts showing right here. See that? There's a little bleeding heart. So pretty. That was actually here, but it was over there. Um, I got one of my daisies out here. There's another one. No, I guess that's not. They should be. That should be in there. Maybe I should pull it up. Stick it in there. That's not. But this is. I thought about planting my zinnias in this too. Like kind of just scatter them everywhere. They're anywhere between 18 inches and 4 foot tall. Is how, how big they can get. So my thought is. Is I probably want to put them on the back edge of this. But where? That's my thing. Where am I going to put this? And the dang ducks have been laying in this, like I said, them, them creatures right there. <laughs> and I got my herbs planted. So I've got these planted for now. Um, but they were in here, and I was so afraid that they were laying down on my peonies. And they just keep messing with stuff, and I'm getting so sick and tired of it. I really am. I just wish we had the money to buy that other, another of those cages that we have down there for the chicken coop, you know? Because we're going to get another one for the ducks and put that up over there. But, with that being said, they were already in this. And I had to move, move my dirt around. I had to put a plant up because they were inside that already. They were over here laying in this stuff and I just... Ugh. I'm just very upset about it. Huh. Those are like... These are already dried out. That's not good. It's not good. I didn't think they were that dried out. Goodness sakes. I have to take this and throw some water on them. I didn't think they were dried out yet. We'll get them back up to life here. And then this poor little thing was sitting in this and it was all drooped over because I had too much water. And I've already tried to take these out of there because of too much water. Well, that's probably not good. Hopefully I didn't bust it. Oh, it's still there. I was hoping that these would kind of come back. But this one and this one, I don't know. I could put those down there because I want to reuse them. I've been taking these that aren't doing very well, that didn't even grow. And I'm putting them back in here. And those are biodegradable, so it's not like that's going to go anywhere. So I've been trying to put everything in there. See, it's still pretty wet. Well, maybe if I could scoot these down like this. And I don't think my med plant there is going to even do very, very well. That's what I'm saying. And then my cat, or my cauliflower right there. Yellow crooked neck, nothing came up. Perk back up, please. Perk back up. You're wet now. <sighs> I told my husband I want to just order some above ground beds and do that for the garden. He asked me how much they were. And I told him. And he said, is that for one? And I said, no, that's for four. I, I'm hoping I can convince my 
daughter to get me some too, but you know, I really want to get these planted. So we can get them out of here and but I just don't know where to put them at without the dang chickens or ducks eating them. You know, going all over them or whatever. I don't want that to happen either. But let's come down here real quick. Because I'm going to end this video. And then see what else I can get myself into and maybe record that. Video it. I don't know. But I thought maybe... I really want to come down here and just rake all this up, but... At the same time, I'm like, I just hate seeing that there's only one little, and it's already going to seed, right here. And then we got this one right here. I mean, is that all? I just can't believe that's all. I had hundreds, hundreds of them. And that's it? <sighs> eat this. That is good. Even raw. It's got the most sweetest grassy taste. Very lovely. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take the rake, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to softly rake this and see what we got underneath of it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Wow, that was good. Nothing like... <laughs> nothing like growing your own food and then eating it right from the garden. Like, I cannot wait for my yellow tomatoes. Yellow tomatoes. Yellow tomatoes. I just hope some of those cherry ones will become something. So thank you guys again. I'm going to come up here. I'm probably going to get too hot again because I put my pullover back on. Because when I first came out of the house, I'm cooking a turkey, a nine pound turkey breast. So the house is quite warm. So I was like, when I walked out here, I was like, whew, that is... That's uh, something for sure. I think maybe I'll set up for my next video on this right here with a bucket or something. And you guys can just watch from the next video. So thank you everybody again. And we'll see everybody tomorrow. Until next time. God bless.